What's up? Let me try to... Trying to lock this this lighting situation. Okay, yeah, it's gonna have to work. There we go. And wait for a second for some people to get on. All right. Okay, so today I'm gonna do my makeup routine with you on how to get my makeup stain on all day long through heat and humidity. Uh, just a few products that will lock your makeup in that I have discovered anyway. Um, I do have dry skin, but these tips will work for oily skin. I know because I have asked several of my clients to actually test them for me and they've all confirmed that they work. So I am confident in sharing these uh, these tips with you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wipe off my make. I mean, I have I have just some tinted moisturizer on, so I'm just gonna wipe off my makeup real quick. Oops. And then we'll get started. Of course, now my dog wants it. Okay. Hold on a second. Hey, B. Can you let Coda in? Okay, so the first thing you wanna do, start with a fresh, clean face. If you want to apply moisturizer, you can. If you don't, that's fine too. If you use mascara, you know that the products are already emollient. Um, I like to do, I don't know, I mix up I mix it up sometimes. Sometimes I apply moisturizer, sometimes I don't. Um, it just depends on the day. Sometimes if I know I'm gonna be out for a really long time, I will wear a, um, a, a moisturizer with SPF. If you have really oily skin, <laughs> if you have really oily skin, then um, you may want to do an oil control. Um, yeah, an oil control moisturizer. If you need suggestions, just comment below and I will suggest, I will type out whenever we're done. Hey, Miranda. Um, so as you can see, Hi. I'm gonna show you how to get uh, full coverage plus oil. This here, I'm gonna go to the doctor about because I'm a little concerned. It, so I thought it was a zit <laughs> and and now I don't know, it's flat and red and scaly and it's really hard to cover and makeup doesn't sit on it and it's really awesome, not really. So anyway, okay, my face is pretty dry now. So I wiped off my makeup or what I had on, I just had on a tinted moisturizer. You can use the option of either applying a, uh, applying a moisturizer or not applying a moisturizer. I'm not going to just because the humidity is really high today and I feel like I don't need it and I'll do all that tonight once I go to bed. Um, okay, so the first thing I want you to do is take the stay spray. You can do with or without SPF. I'm using the one with SPF because my makeup does not contain SPF in it. So um, just two sprays. Oh, that one I accidentally, yeah, there we go. That one I, I completely whiffed. <laughs> I whiffed my face. Okay, so we're gonna spray that on there let that get tacky. If you miss consistently and you don't want to waste the product, just spray it on your hand like that and tappy tappy. And you can kind of feel it gets almost like tacky. So that's going to work like your primer, okay? So while that is settling, we're going to do eyes really quick. I am going to take a little bit of sunlit. You could use whatever you want. You can use any highlight color or if you have an eyeshadow base that you love, use that too. I have lots of eyeshadow bases that I really like. However, um, I don't know. I like to keep it all simple in one, one compact. So I just use my highlight. 
So just put that on lightly. You don't need a ton of product. I was using Stay Spray After Makeup. So I will do that also, um, but I'm gonna use it as a primer as well. So I really like the dual functionality of it, plus it has the SPF in it. Plus it smells just like, you know, a beach vacation. Okay, so I put on the highlight. I let that, like lightly, do not cake it on or you will crease. If you have oily lids, go ahead and put a setting powder on top of that highlight. That way it really just um, amplifies the matteness of your eyes. I'm pretty sure I just made up the word matteness. We'll go with it. Okay, um, I am, he's excited, Liam, what's up, bud? Okay, so I'm gonna use um, the eyeshadow everything brush, fluffy end right into Sabrina. And I'm just gonna throw that on all over my lid. If you saw my selfie from yesterday, which PS, I hate posting selfies, but I do it. Um, this is the eyeshadow look that I wore. I did get a lot of uh, private messages on Instagram actually, asking me what colors I was using and how to apply. So this is the color Sabrina all over my lid from lash line up to the brow bone. Now take the smaller end right there and go with the color Oak and you're just going to carve out the socket of your eyeball. That sounds way gross. <laughs> carve out the socket of your eyeball. Oh. Liam's probably really freaked out. Okay, so this will give you the dimension. If you watch my YouTube video on how to make your eyes pop, this was the technique that I used in there. I'm gonna use it with different colors, okay. So just like so. Now take the fluffy end, you're gonna go with, I always say this wrong, people are gonna laugh at me, Mejia, M-I space, capital H-I-J-A, okay? <laughs> Take that color with the fluffy end, like that, and then you're gonna do little circles and kind of buff out that oak color. My kids are loud. And then just back and forth. Okay, a little bit right on the dome of the brush. Let me, that is not even. Sorry. If you ever do your makeup using the camera of your phone, you, and it actually looks really good, you're really talented. Let me just tell you that. Oh, hell. Okay, let me do this again. I need music. That's what I like about doing this in my studio because I can listen to music. Okay, now you're gonna take Coco. Take this end right here. And where's Coco? And just place right on the side of the brush so not on the tip but on the side of the brush like that and then place on the outer edge and then kind of push it to the crease okay now take a little bit more like a tap and then blend it out.
Ooh, I just got a headache all of a sudden. Must be from this light. I'm sorry I'm so quiet. Okay, now take uh, your finger with Sabrina and then tap right on your lid. And then I'm just gonna go like this, get the excess off and blend so there's no harsh lines. Okay, and now I'm gonna do eyeliner. I am hot. It is hot today. I think it's the same temp as it was yesterday, but um, the humidity is so much higher. Okay, so I'm just going to line my eyes. I'm using Infallible uh, L'Oreal Longwear Eye Pencil. I start in the middle and I do short strokes. I got some right there, but that's okay. We'll clean it up. Okay, I'm gonna do just a smidge right there. A smidge right there. Now take oh, Know Your Angles brush, like that. And I'm gonna dip it in black. This is the color Salem, and just put that on top of the liner because what that does, it just locks everything in place because when you're putting a cream on top of, no, when you're putting a powder on top of cream, it just traps it, locks it in. Okay, so just press, and then if you have any areas where it like the liner skips then it kind of it smooths it all out and makes it look nice and even I like to do just like I like to go up like that isn't that liner nice like it's a nice uh, color black and it went on really smooth it needs to be sharpened but <laughs> I'll go with that okay sometimes some days you just don't care hey Vicki what's up mama okay I'm gonna take my wipe just kind of clean up under my eye now if you are adamant about using an eye cream that this is when you would want to apply it but let me tell you in this heat if you have any creasing or if you have um, settling or if it's the the under eye product is just slipping away now this is if you wear mascara if you wear any other kind of formula if you put on an eye cream or eye serum and then you put something else on top of it it's not gonna have that grass that grip okay so you need to find an eye cream or an eye serum that's either made to um, be underneath makeup um, so it won't necessarily be as effective, but save that for your nighttime routine. Save that skincare for your nighttime routine and like use the more aggressive stuff at, in the PM and then you either skip it or use something less aggressive in the AM. That way your makeup stays on. So I get a lot of private messages where people are like, I feel like it's like creasing or I feel like it's slipping away or settling into fine lines and I always ask, are you using an eye cream under, underneath? Majority of the time, yes, they are. And so I say either apply less, apply it way sooner than um, you're putting on your actual makeup, 
or so it can really, really absorb um, or completely skip it altogether. So um, I also have told people to apply it. Uh, go brush your teeth, do your hair, do your eyes, and then when you wipe up underneath the um, eye area to clean up, uh, the product should already be absorb absorbed and be activated. So um, there are a few different things that you can do. Hold on. Shh, please, thanks. Sorry. Um, it's okay. Okay, so now I am going to do my face. Um, so I did the SPF stay spray. I'm using that as a primer. I don't have on moisturizer. I did put some on the first, first thing that I wore this morning. Man, I cannot talk today. Um, and yeah, I put moisturizer on and then I actually did a, um, uh, tented moisturizer because I had some errands to run. So I am going to go in with the highlight color. I'm going to use a little bit of the sunlit. The sunlit is very, very yellow. So, um, where's my detail head brush? Oh, so that is going to cancel out this redness, this redness, this brown pigmentation, and it's going to help cancel out all this purpleness. Okay. So I'm going to take this and Yes, it's dirty. I need to wash it. Um, my brush cleaner should be coming in hopefully by tomorrow. Okay, so here's Sunlit. I want to show you how much product I use. Okay, do you see that? I hardly put anything on there, okay? Now, look how much is there. Look how much is on my brush. I barely tapped that. Um, you really don't need too much product. If you want your makeup to stay all day long, less is more. And it doesn't mean, okay, here's what I see when people come in for, do you see how I'm stippling? Just press, press that light amount of pigment, right? Just lightly press. Okay, whenever people come in for makeup lessons and stuff, and I, they say, I just don't think I'm doing it right what I have them do is apply it in front of me. And what I see most of the time is, hey, you need to stop. What I see most of the time is um, people were like, oh man, I have this zit, I need to cover it. So they go in, they scoop it, they feel like more will be better and that is not the case whatsoever, especially with cream. Cream is not made with water, therefore it won't absorb into the skin, it lays on top of the skin. So if you want really full coverage, you need to go in lightly, lightly, lightly. That is one of the tricks. If I've ever done your makeup, you know my makeup will stay on you for probably 24 hours, if not longer. Uh, I would say minimum 12 hours. And it's because I use very, very, very light layers and layer it to the coverage that is that I prefer or that the customer prefers. So um, I'm gonna take a little bit more, okay? And then just tap right under my eyes. And I know that that's not fully covered, so um, what I'm gonna do is, right now I'm just kind of color correcting, okay? So I am trying to cancel out the redness and then I'll go in with the, my actual skin color and I will um, cover it with that using my finger. Okay, so you see how the makeup is doing its job. It's evening out, but you can still see that. But keep in mind that the main point is it doesn't look like makeup. So we're going to build that up to a full coverage, but it's still going to be light layers now this is especially important in the heat because the more product that you apply uh the worse it's gonna get as far as the heat you put on too much of this cream product and i know a lot of you that are watching this are probably like oh yeah i put on too much today you can feel it and it feels gross and it just slips right off your face okay i like to take the pointed end Go like this. I always have redness above my brows, so I like to just cancel out that redness there. Okay. See how it's scaly? That freaks me out. 
I'm gonna get into the dermatologist like soon. Weird. My husband just had a precancerous cell or precancerous whatever taken off of his cheek and it looks very similar to that. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with the color amber. Tap, tap, tap. And then press it all over. I like to do a pressing motion because I want that full coverage. What are you guys doing? We're trying, we're trying to get it in there because we can it. Well, you can walk in front. Okay. Hi, peeps. You're hilarious. How's everyone's summer going? Good. <laughs> I was talking to them, yeah. but I'm glad yeah. yours is Hopefully going good. You guys are having a good summer. Hopefully, they are. <laughs> Steph, you're going to knock down my tripod. Three, okay, okay. three people are watching, peeps. No, there's three. more than three. What? There's more than three, but there's three names right there. I don't know if they're still watching, though. You can't tell. You can't see who's watching. Okay. See how I dragged the pro drug, dragged the product on my forehead? That's because um, I don't I don't need a ton of coverage on my forehead, but like I have pigmentations and spots here, so I press, and then on my forehead, I just kind of feather, feather and drag on my forehead because I don't I don't really need a ton of coverage. I wish my whole face was like my forehead. Do I have ooh, sorry about the armpits. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'm just pressing in, making sure that I get all the excess makeup off. And I'm gonna cover this more in just a minute. I wanna add the contour first because I've I don't know whenever I put the contour on like I use my fingers and I wipe all that highlight off and then it just erases everything that I just did so um, okay I'm gonna use the color stone right here I just take my brush and do a little wiggle You're home and you're with your kids how's that working out for you <laughs> keep them busy okay I'm using the color ash for my nose I like to use Ash because it's not as warm and I like like an actual natural shadow on my nose rather than I don't I just don't want my nose to be red the color stone has like a more warmer red base and I just want it to be more of like a natural shadow obviously so then I'm taking the color amber then I take my sponge it's damp I squeezed all the water out. I took a towel, rub, um, squeezed all that out again. So it was definitely, it's not wet, but you get it wet to puff it up so it's not as dense. I have to look in an actual mirror. So now I'm just picking up any excess, excess. Oh, no. 
I always feel good when I do that, I feel like. So don't move the product, you just press to pick up. And now here comes the secret weapon. First, let me cover this guy up. So I'm taking the lightest layers possible and just building on that. And then the heat of my finger will help uh, blend it into, what? You pay me. Oh, somebody just paid me via Venmo. <laughs> I just got, got an alert saying I got a Venmo. Okay, so see how that covered up? It's like nice and nice and even. It's not all choppy. Now I just, I'm taking the same brush and I want to brighten up under my eyes because my allergies are killing me and I'm going in the color white peach. Hey, that's enough Tic Tacs. Okay. Now for the secret weapon, I think, yeah. Okay, so take vanilla dust setting powder and you can either use a sponge or the power powder brush. I'm gonna use the power powder brush. Pick up a little bit of product and lightly tap right underneath your eyes. That will set everything in place, okay? Then take the Cayman Island bronzer. Use the other end of the power powder brush or you can use really any other brush. And then set your contour. Anywhere that you put the contour. Don't worry about blending it. We'll do that in a second. Like I said, anytime you put a powder on top of a cream, it grabs it, it works like a double stick tape, and it will hold in place. this whole palette Whew, we're good good to go good to go okay now take the NYX don't worry about it NYX HD studio photogenic professional makeup finishing powder that's a mouthful so it's NYX HD finishing powder I can maybe put a link I picked this up at Target Take a little bit of this. If you have oily skin, loose powder is going to be your absolute best friend because the small particles really absorb all the oils and stick to your face. If you have dry skin, you can still use a loose powder. However, you'll just need to use less of it, okay? So just take a little bit of the product. I like to take my damp sponge and see how I picked up just a smidge and then I lightly tap pretty much everywhere. I don't care for this product under my eyes. I'll be honest with you, but I'll take whatever's left on my sponge and just kind of place that right on there. And then, just to make sure you don't, if you cover any zits or anything, I'm trying not to move that product lightly, like light, light, light tap. 
Another really good one is uh, by Laura Mercier. That is one of my favorites. I use that in my professional kit. And then um, the other one is the, uh, oh gosh, it's in my kit too, which is at my studio. Um, RCMA uh, Loose Setting Powder. That's a really good one also. I just started using this about a month ago and I'm truly obsessed. Uh, one of the artists that is um, on my team, her name's Sammy, she actually recommended this to me. She has oily skin and I started using it after she said, like she, has been using it for a long time and it just locks her her makeup in place and she is a nurse so she wears the face mask and everything and she said it doesn't really move so I was like well I gotta try this so I tried it and it's fantastic so I highly recommend this it's the NYX HD um, okay so now I'm just gonna take a nice fluffy brush and kind of buff that all over make sure that there are no harsh lines because you don't want to look crazy. Okay. <laughs> now I want to use, oh, now I want to use the uh, Bella bronzer because I'm obsessed. It's gonna be probably gonna have to do that 8,000 times today. Oh well. Okay. Where is the Bella Bronzer? Okay, so now this is the B squared brush. This is part of a summer bundle that's out and it is the best deal because you get this brush, the Bella bronzer and the Hollywood br blush, which I'm about ready to put, put on my face. Um, you get that I think for 75 bucks, which is a great deal. So I'm just going to take this end of the brush and tap it in the Bella bronzer and then go right where the sun would naturally hit you. You can do this under the powder also. I just like to do it on top of the powder because I don't know, I feel like you just can't use a lot, but I just feel like it brings that sheen back to your face. But if you like a really matte look, then I would suggest, usually I put it on the tip of my nose, but I'm gonna skip that. Um, I would suggest, if you like a really matte look, I would suggest putting the cream bronzer on first and then putting on the powder because if not, it's just gonna look too shiny for you. But see how that gave that, that nice skin-like finish? Okay, so then I'm gonna put on the Bella bronzer. So I'm gonna flip over this end. Nope, not the Bella bronzer. Hollywood. Hollywood blush. So that's part of the bundle. Hollywood is right here. It is like the perfect peachy pink. I, it's, it's, I don't know, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna use this. It's like neutral, but it has, uh, and it looks good on so many, it looks really pretty on tan skin and it looks really pretty on pale skin too so you just again if you like a really matte look then just put the blush on and then put the powder on ah oh, dang it okay and then I like a shine so I take my sponge ooh, I take my sponge my perfector sponge and I go in the color rose gold take that like so and then tap that right onto your cheeks and it has the prettiest highlight. And I like to go like that and then I don't know if I can do. I like to do the inner corner of my eyes. What's up Kelly, how's it going? Yeah. Okay, so what's next? I'm missing steps. I'm trying to think about talking and what I'm gonna say and how to teach and I'm not in my actual routine. This is taking forever. Um, okay, so I need to finish my eyes. I need to do my brows. I need to do my lips, but um, 
What was I gonna say? Oh, this, I am obsessed with this. If you want a um, professional grade product, the MAC Blot Powder. MAC Blot Powder is phenomenal. You can cake on that entire compact on somebody's face and it doesn't even look powdery, it just absorbs the shine. The Neutrogena Shine Control is one of my favorites. I've used this on professional sets, like for commercials, if I have any dudes that I'm doing makeup for, or um, politicians, where they, or nurses, or anything like that, where they are supposed to look like they don't have makeup on, but they do, so they need the shine gone, and oh my God. I need more coffee, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this, so this, okay, let me take a step back. Cool, did you brush your teeth today? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is why pre-recorded videos are so much better for everybody. Okay, so this guy, the loose powder, keep that at home for when you put your makeup on. Neutrogena setting shine control powder. Take this with you. Keep this in your desk. Keep this in your purse, in your diaper bag, whatever. I'm just gonna show you. So you can apply, I don't wanna take my shine away, my illuminator. I like the illuminator look. I'm just blending the sponge, or bending the sponge. So you just put this on when you're getting too oily and it will absorb all of that. You couldn't find the NYX at Target. What? Why couldn't you? I bought it at the Edwardsville one. Vicki, which one did you go to? Maybe I bought the last one. Haha, <laughs> sorry. See how it makes it look so soft? The way it shows that everyone has craziness. Yep, ain't that the truth. See how it's so soft? But obviously I didn't put this stuff there because I like the shine. If you don't like the shine, put it there. So get one of these. Strongly suggest it, no matter if you wear mascara or if you wear any other makeup, get, get the Neutrogena Shine Control. Try out the NYX Professional Makeup HD Studio Loose Powder. Um, the, the higher end, this would be MAC Blot Powder. This would be the Laura Mercier or the RCMA uh, Loose Setting Powder. If you want me to suggest those, like type those out, I can. I could probably find you links also. Let's see. Ooh, do you wanna see the new mascara that I'm, it's not new, but it's something that I'm absolutely loving right now. I really liked the um, Unique, uh, the Unique Zoom, no. Oh my God, what is wrong with my brain? The Unique, somebody help me out. What's it called? Somebody. You know, that one. It's not the Zoom Lash, that's by MAC. And then I also liked the Better Than, I hate that name because of kids, mascara, I loved that. Um, Dior, I was allergic to that one, but that's a good one. But I have been using the IT Superhero and it is clipping fantastic. Let me show you, okay. Um, I know this has nothing to do with summer. Let me finish up the summer look. So here's what you're gonna do for the, for the finish up your summer. Do your brows, do the rest of your eyes, put on your lips if you want, and then um, take the SPF setting spray, give you a little few squirts on here, and then just press it all over. Careful on the areas that you are trying to keep covered. Press that all over everywhere, and it literally locks your makeup into place. I am obsessed. It'll stay all day. Okay, let me show you this mascara because you're gonna love it. I have to finish my eyes though. Okay, eyeshadow everything brush. Take this and so I end, wanted to talk about summer makeup and I ended up doing almost like an eye tutorial. Sorry about that. At least I'm ready for work now. It's cocoa. I'm just running that along my lower lash line. Have you tried heart mascara? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one too. I forgot about that one. Thanks, I'm gonna have to try that again. 
Okay, so I just ran that along my lower lash line. We fill in the brows super quick. If you're in my private group, um, I hope that you learned a little something something from the uh, eyebrow lesson that I did last weekend. If you did, if you learned something, let me know here, please. I'd like to hear from you. That was like one of my biggest requested uh, videos was to do how to groom your own eyebrows at home. So I did it. I showed everybody how to do it at home and I got a pretty good response, but I haven't checked in to see if anybody actually did it. Okay, I'm just gonna fill in my brows. Like I said, I keep everything in one compact because that's the way I roll. I'm using the Oak eyeshadow and the Know Your Angles brush and I'm just gonna lightly fill in my brows. Never touch up my brows with makeup, then I watch your video, it makes a huge, doesn't it, girl? Makes a huge difference. Whoop. Gotta do sound. Whoop. I'm ready for lunch, my brain is not working. Are you guys hungry? No. Yeah. Okay, cool. Did you guys read? Yeah. Okay. What'd you read? The Did you unload the dishwasher? Yeah. Okay, let me show you these this mascara because it is amazing oh. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of somebody talk to me I'm feeling lonely <laughs> somebody type type something talk to me I had way too much silence on this video uh, I'm mixing the colors Dahlia and um, Desert Sunset this won't stay on. We're getting ready to go get lunch. But it's better than having like a makeup mouth. Okay. Here we go. Superhero It. I did Dally and Petal today. Oh, I need to get Petal for my personal kit. I really, really like that one. I always forget. Have you used Marc Jacobs Velvet Glow Mascara? My favorite. Ooh. I don't think I have. <gasps> Thank you. I'm gonna have to do that. To unload the dishwasher too, then they load the garage fridge with all the. Ooh, that's a good idea. Then read a book. I love the garage, the uh, fridge in the garage idea. That is awesome. This is not how I typically apply mascara. You see how black that is? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I brush my tongue and it's... Isn't that good? And it's buildable without getting too clumpy. Quite and good. I mean, they're on their tablets, like with headphones. So 10 minutes, that's all they get. Can you see the difference? Like I'm super impressed. I really, really, really like it cosmetic stuff though. If you were looking for a good CC cream, look at that. If you're looking for a good CC cream, they have a great, like one of the best CC creams, it, it cosmetics.
What are you eating? Snack bar. Uh, we're gonna go to lunch. Okay. That's it. We're done. Both of you are eating snack bars? Okay. That's it, my friends. That's it. I'm sorry it took so long. I was trying to educate. Hopefully you learned a little something something. Um, you know what I like to do is I take the a little cheapy Rimmel bronzer and a cheapy e.l.f. kabuki brush. Ugh, ugh. And I just do it on my neck. I don't like to use expensive bronzers because I'm like and get all kind of crazy with it. And then I just do this. And then my brush smells really good too from perfume. <laughs> That's it. So I promise you, your makeup will stay. You can just, I was just feeling dry, so I sprayed that. That's honestly why, because I have dry skin, um, but that will lock in your makeup. If you have oily skin, dry skin, whatever, just use really, really light layers, build up that coverage, use the stay spray beforehand, spray it in your palms, actually. Um, I feel like if you're a beginner and or if you completely whiff like I always do just spray it in, in your hands go like this do, 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 and then let it sit do your eyeshadow um, like I said layer light layer get you some powder setting powder oh my phone's about to die whoops get some setting powder and um, carry this guy with you just to touch up and You'll be good to go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, you're always welcome to email me, text me, private message me, whatever. I am here for you and I will talk to you later. Please share this video so uh, other people can learn. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.